Brian Pate here. I want to talk about the arc tile on our Capto unit here. So I just made a stroke and we're looking at the arc. There's a purple line which is going to give us our low point or if we're looking at our hula hoop bottom here, it's right here where this black mark is. That's going to be the purple mark on our picture. The next one is going to be an orange mark and that's going to be where the strike occurred. This could be before we reach the low point or it could be after we reach the low point. Now my preferences are we're having the low spot before the golf ball so the putter is slightly rising. That way we can have a little bit of shaft lean and the rise and the slight de-loft is going to produce a ball that launches just a little bit and then starts to have a nice roll after it starts to roll on the green. So with this idea of the arc, if I was making more kind of my little true pendulum motion here, that this low point is going to probably be roughly around the center of my feet or below my sternum. If I move my sternum forwards, now the low spot might move up here. If I move my sternum backwards, it might move more back towards my trail foot. If I release my putter earlier, it might move that low spot back to my right foot. If I have a little bit more handle drag or the face is still going down, it might move that low spot more towards my left foot. So as we're using the low point feature in here, this is calculated based off of where the putter was the lowest or where impact was. Whichever one was first is kind of where this is calculated at. So if we're making our putting stroke in here and we have our track and our path, a direction that we're looking for that's going to correspond to the face angle that we always produce, then can we get this golf ball in the right position so we can catch this slightly on the way up if that's your preference. So there's just a quick little talk about the low point tile in our Capto unit tying on to our putter stroke that we talked about before.